Hey YouTubers, this is Sarah Misatifa117 here, aka Sarah Serenity. Now, I know it's been a while since I posted a video, and um, I was talking to my boyfriend Tom earlier, and he suggested, you know, that I post a video on YouTube about things that me and him discuss. Uh, majority of those things I cannot discuss because they're sexually content. <laughs> and, um, they're pretty private, so I'm going to leave those out. Um, one of the things that we talk about is Pokemon. Mainly being about how, you know, we like the generations 1 through 3 more than 4 through 6. Now, for me, I have not watched Pokemon in a long-ass time. Last time I did was, I think, on the third or the beginning of the fourth season. After that, I lost track. <laughs> but his three main favorite Pokemon are Pikachu, Absol, and Eevee. He loves the Eevee evolutions, except for Sylveon, Leafeon, Glaceon. Mainly because of the fact that, you know, he wishes for an evolution that's, an, that's a normal type. I think it's because of the fact that since Eevee's already a normal type, they probably want to do, like, all the, um, the different types of Pokemon. And hence why you have, you have Eevee, you have Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, um, Espeon, Ombreon. Glaceon, Leafeon, and Sylveon. It basically covers a lot of the Pokemon types. <sighs> um, another thing that we discuss about are... What do we discuss? Because I know he's going to be watching this video later. We mainly discuss about um, different number of random things. Like, for example, recently we talked about the whole Kim Davis incident. Um, personally for me, I'm a Christian spiritualist, but you don't see me shoving religion down someone's throat. Not to mention, I'm a proud supporter of the LGBT community. So, yeah, I have friends that are lesbian, gay, bi, trans, gender, and all of that. And I don't judge them. I don't judge a person for their sexual preference. I judge a person based off their character and personality and how they are towards me. If you can show me respect, then I show respect back. But if you act like a bitch to me, I'm going to act like a bitch back. Or just be the bigger person and walk away. What Kim Davis did was pretty fucked up. She, and here's the worst part. People in Kentucky, and I have, no, I have, uh, I have uh, people who I consider like relatives. They live in Kentucky. I'm just hoping not in the same town as Kim Davis. But, um, what really makes me mad is the fact that, you know, they treat Kim Davis like a hero. How is someone denying someone happiness, true happiness, that they've been waiting a long time for a hero? Like, she's very Bible black. And by Bible black, I mean... She loves this to stuff religion down a person's throat and make them choke on it. And that's extremely strict. But, you know, she could just let someone else handle the marriage licenses. That's great, Dad! Huh? I said that's great, Dad! My dad. Anyway. 
if she could have actually done the right thing and actually have not, she could have just let someone else handle the marriage licenses or walk away, let someone else handle it. She didn't have to start this whole controversy thing because basically what's happening is people, yes, everyone has a right to a religious belief, but that doesn't mean you break the law. And gay marriage is a new law. And it shouldn't matter if it takes away people's right for religious beliefs. She was, she had a government job. And now I feel bad for more gay couples in that particular part of Kentucky. Because now they're, they're probably never going to be able to get their wish, which is to get a marriage license unless they move out of Kentucky. Another thing that I talked to my boyfriend Tom about is, uh, is cosplay discrimination. In our words, I'm a cosplayer. I'm a cosplay model as well. And I'm still trying to put myself out there. Cosplay is supposed to be for fun. It's supposed to be for everyone. The problem with this is that people are now getting more and more and more self-conscious because some pe certain cosplayers try to look like a Victoria's Secret model and then criticize all those who look different. One of them being Yaya Han. I'm sorry for anyone who's a fan of her, but she's a straight up bitch. She really is. And, um, she's not even that really good of a person. She has a boob job, she has an ass job, she had light bow, she had hair extensions, she got a lot of work done. The only reason why she's successful is mainly her body and the fact that she can model and cosplay, that's it. But she criticizes anyone else for their work. And from what I've been told, she said, Fat people shouldn't cosplay. That's bullshit. I was fat. You know, like, four years ago. I was fat when I started cosplay. And I could still do it fine. Yeah, I'm skinnier now. I'm like, skinny curvy from what I understand. But... Um, there's this cosplayer online. Her name her name on Facebook is called Misa on Wheels. She basically stated you don't have to be looking like a Victoria's Secret model to cosplay. You don't have to do that. Cosplay is for everyone. If it's something you're passionate about and it's something you love, then do it. Yes, putting yourself out there is hard. I know that for a fact because I'm still trying to put myself out there myself. Because I'm making my OC cosplay Sarah Sarandi, who's in the Kingdom Hearts universe, along with my best friend. This cosplay who's also in the Kingdom Hearts universe. I would love to be a, a professional cosplay mall and get paid to go to cons all over Florida. Because that would be very amazing but overall cosplay is for everyone it doesn't matter your weight your age your race your height or your skill level or gender in the end we're all nerds who love cosplay and anime and video games and tom knows i i'm strongly strong about cosplay and he finally got his first cosplay, which is Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul, which I'm hoping to finish, because I would love to see the rest of the series. And, uh, I don't know, I guess that's pretty much it. I can't really remember anything else until I talk to him later on tonight, hopefully. But, until then, Sarah Serenity, out.